Kundalini is described as the spiritual energy that is located at the base of the spine. The ascent of this energy into the higher centers of the body or chakras brings with it heightened awareness and intuitive knowledge. Swamiji is a Kundalini Yogi and we are lucky that he shares his knowledge with us. The first steps to begin Kundalini Yoga begins with the breath. Before beginning one must choose the right location, seat, posture and breathing technique. Yoga performed in natural settings such as in front of rivers is more conducive to awareness of the elements of nature as opposed to man-made structures in cities. The mat on which one sits before beginning the breathing exercises should be made of either wool from sheep or goats or from dharbai leaves which are not generally fed on by animals. The postures utilized are usually Padmasana, Sukhasana and Vajrasana. With each Sukhasana is the easiest. Whichever posture is undertaken it is important that the spine must be kept erect and straight. The breathing exercises begin with the right hand in Vishnu Mudra. Alternate nostril breathing is then done to balance the Surya Nadi sympathetic nervous system and Chandra Nadi parasympathetic nervous system or the Pingala and Ida energies respectively within us. These balanced energies lead to a sense of equanimity. The breathing begins with the fingers in Vishnu Mudra and inhalation through the right nostril with the left nostril closed with the ring finger, followed by closure of the right nostril with the thumb and exhalation through the left nostril. This is then followed by inhalation through the, the left nostril with the right nostril closed and then closure of the left nostril with the ring finger, followed by exhalation through the right nostril. This is repeated initially for 5 minutes and ended with exhalation through the right nostril. As one's capacity increases this may be performed for up to 30 minutes a day. As discipline and lung capacity improve, with each inhalation the breath can be held for a few seconds depending on one's ability before exhaling through the opposite nostril. The more the practitioner uses this breathing technique the greater will be the improvement in awareness, sense of mental and emotional balance and intuition. Swamiji will elaborate further in future videos about other techniques involved in Kundalini Yoga.